Hey, what's up guys? Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit, and today I want to talk to you about 20 accidentally vegan foods. So these are a big help to me, primarily when I'm at someone else's house or I'm at some kind of a party or something like that, and I need to eat some food and maybe they don't have any purposely vegan foods, right? So accidentally vegan basically means these companies are not trying to be vegan, but the stuff they're making just happens to be vegan. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to list these down real quick and we'll go over them. So first up, Oreos. Every vegan knows Oreos are vegan, right? So definitely check out um, the different flavors they have. I think they have like lemon and all kinds of different flavors now, not just normal Oreos. And I'm pretty sure all of them are vegan. But as always, definitely double check it just to make sure. Next up, you got Duncan Hines. Now a lot of their brownie mixes, cake mixes, frostings, a lot of them are vegan. So uh, definitely, again, check the label, but most of them are vegan, so that's a big help. Next up is Jello pudding. Most of the flavors are vegan. Um, I don't ever really eat Jello pudding myself, but if you're somewhere and you know someone's got some pudding and you want some, and if you know it's Jello, you can look it up. Most of them are going to be vegan. Um, this is a cool one if you happen to be out and about and you need some food real quick and you want something kind of sweet. Uh, Taco Bell's cinnamon twists are vegan, so that's a pretty simple, easy one if you are on the go and you want something sweet. Next up are two different syrups I'm going to go over just real quick. Hershey's chocolate syrup, right? You wouldn't think that's vegan, but it is vegan. And then next up is Nesquik's syrup. I think their uh, other flavors are vegan as well, but I know their chocolate syrup is vegan. So that's an easy thing to have. Again, someone's making some chocolate milk. Maybe they're making some chocolate almond milk for you. Um, you know you can, you'll be okay because it's vegan. Next up is going to be Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Really simple, simple one here. Um, you would not think this would be vegan. You'd think there'd be like a bunch of butter and stuff like that. And it's pretty cool. Um, they are actually vegan. So that makes things kind of easy. I know a lot of people at different uh, parties and events, they do like, you know, they roll different stuff in the crescent rolls. They make pizzas out of them, all kind of stuff like that. And that makes it easy because you can just take that crescent roll, those are veggies on there or whatever, and uh, you're good to go. Next up, you got Ritz crackers. Again, you'd think there'd be butter in there or something like that, but there's not. No dairy. They're totally vegan. And then you got the unfrosted pop tarts we had some of these this year we were on vacation in st john jamie bought some of these i hadn't had a pop tart in probably 10 years maybe but i went ahead and tried one and actually they weren't that bad i mean i wouldn't you know it wouldn't be my go-to but uh if you if you're on the go if you need something someone's got them at their house for breakfast and they don't have anything else that's a decent uh solution for you just make sure that the unfrosted ones next up is actually a personal favorite of mine uh, Nutter Butters. So I don't eat these very often. I haven't had one in a while, but I do actually really enjoy Nutter Butters and they're vegan. So that's pretty cool. All right. The next up, I didn't put a particular brand on here, but most graham crackers are vegan. So if you're going out and people are doing some, making some s'mores, uh, obviously bring your own dark chocolate that's vegan or whatever. They make vegan marshmallows, stuff like that. But Worst case scenario, you can at least most likely have some graham crackers. Next up, we've got Thomas's New York bagels. So again, this is just something that's great. If you spend the night at someone's house, you're you know, staying at someone's house for the weekend and they don't have any kind of really good vegan food for you. Maybe they've got some bagels laying around. The Thomas's New York bagels are vegan. And next up is Sara Lee frozen pies. You get the apple and the cherry pie. So this is pretty cool. Again, you know, you go to some dinner with somebody at their house. They made a pie because they're too lazy to make a real one or to go get one from a good bakery. Maybe they've got a Sara Lee frozen pie, whatever. If it's apple or cherry, you're in luck because at least you can have a little bit, even though it's probably not that good anyway. All right, next up is a pretty good one, actually. We've got the uh, Ghirardelli double chocolate brownie mix. So this is pretty cool. This is actually one of the better brownie mixes out there. Uh, if you got to have like a pre-made brownie mix, this is one of the better ones. And it's vegan, so that's pretty cool. Who would think that Doritos are vegan, right? Well, actually, the spicy, sweet, chili flavor Doritos are vegan. Now, Doritos have a lot of different flavors. I don't think any of the other ones are vegan, but I know that the spicy, sweet, chili ones are vegan. Next up, we got Cracker Jacks. Old school favorite here. Now, I had one of the, I actually had some of these a couple years ago, and they were not as good as I remember when I was a kid. Not even close. They actually weren't very good at all. But if you like Cracker Jacks and you've been missing them and you thought you couldn't have them, you thought there'd be butter in there because of the caramel or whatever, or cream or something, nope, Cracker Jacks are vegan. Next up, we got Campbell's Mushroom Gravy. Now, this is a good choice here if you're at someone's house like for Thanksgiving or Christmas and they've made a gravy that's obviously not vegan and you don't feel like using their kitchen to make your own gravy from scratch, you can get a can of Campbell's Mushroom Gravy and then I'll kind of cover you there. The other one, this is kind of an obvious one, but it's funny, I see this on a lot of lists as if people don't know this, but most chips, right? Most chips are vegan. 
it's pretty easy to find chips that are vegan. You know, most really good tasting chips anyway are just either the potato or the corn, a little bit of oil and salt, and that's it. Those are going to be the best tasting chips anyway. Then we got wheat thins. So wheat thins are vegan. Uh, these are not one of my favorites personally, but I know a lot of people actually really like wheat thins. So you can put some kind of, you know, vegan cheese spread on there or whatever you like, and they're vegan. Last but not least is going to be Sour Patch Kids. So Jamie loves these. I actually like these pretty much too. I haven't had them in a long time, but every time she buys them, I'll have a few of them. A lot of these type of chewy, fruity candies have gelatin in them, and they're not vegan. These are vegan. Definitely check them out. So I hope you guys liked the video. Really simple, quick, easy one for you today. I'll be putting up some workout ones next coming up, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I find this is a, uh, a really helpful thing for a lot of people out there who are new to veganism. And again, you're at a friend's house for the weekend, or you spend the night somewhere, or you're hanging out with some people and you don't have your own food with you, this is a big list here. And I'll put the whole list down in the description. That way, if you ever need to look it up, you don't have to watch the whole damn video. You can just check out the description, and I'll have the top 20 accidentally vegan foods out there. Let me know if any of these are wrong, guys. I didn't you know, thoroughly research every single one of these, but from what I could tell, they're all vegan. But let me know if I'm wrong so I can correct it, make some changes. I don't want anybody out there having to eat a bunch of food that's not vegan if it isn't vegan. So... Otherwise, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Shut down.